Good morning, good day, good afternoon. My name is Alexander Maros and you're watching GeForce GTX 465 Overclocking Guide 101. And this Overclocking Guide 101 is based on my theories and practice. So everything what you're gonna watch, I tested and um, before I'm gonna do anything and tell you anything, it was tested 100%. But keep in mind, if something gonna go wrong with your hardware, I'm not responsible. Overclocking is on your own risk. But I think this overclocking guide is 100% safe, uh, safe and gonna bring you 100% stability and a big increase in your uh, scores and increase in your frames per seconds in your games. All right, what you gotta do uh, before we're gonna start to and. Uh, uh, talk about overclocking you need to download and uh, three things you need to download your latest nvidia geforce drivers then you need to download msi afterburner and you need to download the firmark and it's good to have 3d marked uh, vantage 2006 and 2011 but it is not necessary because the firmark gonna test your video card 100 percent uh, by 100 percent and it will tell you if it's uh, stable as rock or not. All right. So please make sure that you have the GeForce GTX 465 in your uh, case. Keep in mind that, and it's installed and running. Keep in mind that this video tutorial will work on any operating system like Windows XP, Windows Vista, and Windows 7, 32-bit or 64-bit. And keep in mind that you can use the same theories to overclock the other G-forces like GTX 460, GTX 480. But in this case, I'm going to show you uh, GTX 465. And it can be done with any brands and any series. All right? In this case, I'm using the EVGA GTX uh, 465 super clock. But it can be done with any GTX 465 or even GTX 460. You're just going to have a different frequencies and your overclock is going to have a little bit different frequencies. All right, so what we got to do, we got to open the browser, go to google.com and we're going to search for GeForce drivers. We're going to go to nvidia.com website and we're going to download the drivers. We're going to select 465, our operating system, click search. It's going to give us the driver. We're going to download it. Install it. Restart your computer. Then, we're going to search for MSI Afterburner. It's going to bring us to their MSI.com website, which is the official website for this application or software. We're going to click on that, or you can use the guru3d.com. Guru3D.com is a nice website as well. We're gonna go in here. We're gonna click go. Download at this cost. We're gonna click download, and we're fine. Then we're going to install that as well. Then we're gonna go ahead and download the latest firmware. Go to their website, ozone3d.com, or you can go to guru3d as well. It's all fine. Dump solid. Then you can uh, search for 3D Mark Vantage and download the demo. So you can download it and install it as well. Future Mark is their official website. And download it and install it as well. And this software is going to be good to see our performance um, increase after the overclock is done all right all right let's assume we install our msi after burner and what i'm gonna do now i'm gonna just run it and um, by manufacturing by stock uh, my gtx 465 has core clock 625 megahertz and memory clock 1620 megahertz and uh, fan speed rotation percentage it's set to auto 
So uh, this is the three things that we are looking when we are clocking our video card. The core clock megahertz, which is over here. Sometimes it's called the GPU clock, graphic processor unit. Memory clock, which is our GDDR5 on board on video card. And the fan speed um, percentage. Those three most important keys in your video card overclocking. First thing what you gotta do, you're gonna un un uncheck the auto. So you can uh, take the manual control over your fan speed. And we're going to set it to 70%. Then we're going to click apply. You're going to start hearing the fan start kicking in your case. All right. 70% I consider is the uh, not too loud and it's cooling your video card good enough. Everything uh, after the 70% on GTX 465 is getting a little bit loud. So I'm going to stick at 70%. However, by increasing the fan speed rotation percentage, you make your video card cooler and you can achieve the higher overclock. But uh, the disadvantages is the noise. So if you're good enough to stick with the noise, you can increase more than 70. All right. Before we're going to overclock the video card, make sure that every single part in your computer is set to stock. It's a good uh, to have like this because if something is unstable, you're going to be confused. So make sure everything is stock and everything is stable. And we're going to start with a core clock or a GPU clock. We're going to increase it by 20 megahertz, megahertz, 20. And by 20, by 20, by 20. We're going to add by 20. First, I increase by 20 uh, megahertz. I'm going to click apply. So it's going to take um, uh, that uh, volume and apply to the video card GPU. Over here we have some sensors as well. We have our GPU temperature, uh, GPU usage, fan speed rotation and core clock and also memory clock on the bottom. So then after we increase that we need to run the Firmark. Firmark is going to stress our video card to 100%, gonna heat up as as high as it can go, so it's gonna bring m too much heat on the video card, and it's gonna test for stability. You need to check stability test, and then you need to put the check mark on extreme burning mode. Go ahead and all right. After we done that, we're gonna click go. I suggest you to run this test for 20 30 minutes. If by running this test by 20 30 minutes you're not going to see any artifacts and by saying artifacts I'm meaning like a uh, brown streaks or different color streaks or dots on your screen if you're not going to see those means that your video card is 100% stable also when you overclock in the GPU and you're going to reach its potential maximum frequency uh, screen can freeze up and if your screen going to freeze up, please restart your computer. Just shut down your computer by pressing shut down button. Wait 5-7 seconds. Your computer going to shut down. Wait Then after that, wait 10 seconds and uh, uh, boot your computer again. Alright, so I'm not going to wait 20 minutes. I already know uh, my frequency. So I'm going to click stop the test and I'm going to increase by 20 megahertz more and run the same test click apply run the same test and I'm gonna do so till the video card gonna show till my image going to fail gonna behave differently or gonna show some artifacts or freeze up and um, also over here we have the GPU core information memory core informa memory uh, frequency information and a temperature on a GPU and I do not uh, let my GPU temperature pass beyond 100 Celsius 100 Celsius is the maximum uh, stable point um, on the GPU frequency that I suggest you to go so do not pass 100